day to celebrate Father Nels, his life, his work, his friendship, his ministry. We recall and give thanks for the different ways in which he has befriended us and shared his joy with us over these years. Celebrating the Tuesday night masses in the Joan of Arc Chapel, chaplain, most recently of the AMU staff, but his work in the president's office, in student development, in the philosophy department, and let's not forget Tumbleweed Louise the Clown and his balloon animals. So let us rejoice together. I'm really sad because I feel like he's such a part of the Marquette community that it's going to be really weird him not being like at campus ministry and doing Tuesday night masses and just like being there like with the students because he loves it so much. It's going to be really weird. Like I just feel like I'm going to go into the AMU and he's going to be there and I'm like, hey, he won't be and it'll just be, it'll be hard. It'll be a weird transition, but I think it'll be good for him. It's like a new chapter to like start a new phase in his life. So I'm excited for him. <laughs> He meets so many people and he doesn't even remember, like, even people he doesn't meet, he impacts. And it's, like, really cool for him to, like, get to meet them. Brother Jesuits, uh, friend, uh, colleague, uh, administrator without portfolio for many years. Uh, he worked, we worked closely together. I've known John now since I first came to Marquette in 1975. He used to live in Schrader. Uh, people love living in Schrader because John was the, as you saw from some of those photos, uh, remarkable presence there, both as friend and, 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 and for a lot of fun. Uh, John is probably the best known Jesuit for a whole two generations of Marquette alums that have gone through this place they may not know who was president, but they all know Father Knobs. There are two words since I uh, retired. Uh, first of all, thanks, and secondly, friend.